very happy to introduce the next speaker, who's Monty Taylor. He's a distinguished technologist. He's a member of our board of directors. And he's on the technical committee. So he's a very busy man. Doesn't get a lot of sleep. So I'm glad he's willing to come up here and tell us what's on his mind. So come on up, Monty. How you doing, sir? Good to see you. Hello, hello. Thanks for coming out. Thanks, everybody. It's really exciting to be here in Hong Kong. Uh, first time we've been out in Asia, as I'm sure you all know. Uh, and it's really exciting to see everybody's, uh, everybody's shining, happy faces. I uh, hope you all are enjoying the keynote so far this morning. Um, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about OpenStack and Hybrid Cloud. Um, unfortunately for me, it seems like everybody's already been talking about OpenStack and Hybrid Cloud, so there might not be as much new information here as I originally wanted there to be. Uh, or maybe that actually sets me up into a good position uh, where you might actually believe the things I'm telling you. So uh, first of all, why am I talking to you? Uh, as, uh, as Mark said, I'm a distinguished technologist at Hewlett Packard. Uh, I sit on the technical committee and the OpenStack board of directors. So thank you, all of you out there who voted for me. Uh, it definitely gave me more things to do with my copious free time. Uh, uh, and it's been a, it's been a joy. Um, but uh, uh, the reason that I probably got elected to those things has more to do with what we do inside of OpenStack. I started and am currently a core member on the OpenStack infrastructure team. Uh, for those of you who don't know about that, that's the team that uh, works inside of the OpenStack community to run all of our continuous integration and uh, developer automation. So any of you who have submitted a patch to OpenStack and gone through the process of getting code review and getting your patch tested, uh, that's, on, that's on our team. Uh, you, can, uh, you can totally come and join and help us out with that, by the way. Um, uh, I also, the, Mark just gave me a fantastic uh, intro in terms of the triple O work, uh, which is uh, basically work shared by a team that I manage at uh, HP and, uh, and then the fine folks at Rackspace uh, that are there with Mark. Um, and, uh, and in addition to all of that, uh, as if that wasn't enough things for me to be doing, uh, HP apparently lets me talk to customers. Um, this, for those of you who know me, might sound like a terrifying proposition to put me in front of a customer. Um, but it turns out um, that it's really helpful um, because it's, it's really good to get feedback about what customers want. Uh, it's really good to get feedback uh, about, about why, they, why they're interested in OpenStack. Uh, and so I'm going to talk to you a little bit about, um, about what I'm hearing from them, uh, what they're telling me, uh, sort of where I think we're at on that, and then possibly some things that we as a community need to do to, uh, to address some of those concerns. Um, first of all, and as you've been hearing, uh, I was going to say all week, but it's day two, so I'm not sure we can classify that as a week yet. Um, uh, but, but hybrid cloud is here. It's now. It's happening. It's not just a pipe dream. Uh, there's, there's, I've been hearing people talking about it being, uh, uh, you know, being a, a goal. Is it possible? Can we do it? Uh, it's, it's really here. It's really, it's, it's really here now, and the customers really want it. They want it for a few reasons. Um, first of all, they, they want open, right? They, they're talking to us about OpenSAC because they, they want things to be open. Um, and they want, they want open uh, in large part because what they don't want is they don't want vendor lock-in. Um, I have talked to absolutely zero customers who have walked up to me and said, what I really want is if you guys could build something that would lock me into a platform and keep me there prisoner. I'd really, I really want that as a feature. Nobody says that. Absolutely zero people have ever said that sentence other than me just now. Um, but they, they don't want vendor lock-in. And one of the reasons they don't want vendor lock-in or part of that is, is they want interoperability. And interoperability is, is a thing that we, we talk about. There's also people in our community who think that it's a, it's a fool's errand. Um, but it, it's actually really important for, for some really specific technical reasons. If you're going to run your application in the cloud, because after all, this cloud thing isn't all that interesting by itself. It's just a way to get some compute resources, right? Um, you want to do something with that. Or you want to run an application on the cloud. And if you're going to run an application on the cloud, that means you've, you've kind of put some of your, some of your, your balls into play there. And, um, and what you don't want to have happen is you don't want issues with a single vendor um, to potentially cause problems. Um, you, if, if your single vendor that you, that you are using, say, has an outage, and that's the only vendor that, you're, that you're, your application is running on, 
then it's, your customers aren't going to say to themselves, oh, well, that's fine, it was just their cloud provider. Um, I'm not really going to blame them. Um, what they're going to say is, wow, I can't watch TV right now. Um, and they're not really going to like that. Um, so what you want to do as an application provider, as an application developer, as somebody who's going to run your business on top of the cloud, is you want to have choices. You want to have the freedom to be able to design and run your application in a way that's going to serve your customers. Right? You, you don't want to be telling somebody, you, know, you don't want to be tweeting that you know, your service is out because there was an issue in some sort of thing. You want to, you want to have the freedom to actually be able to, uh, to affect uh, the, the life cycle of your, your application yourself. Um, and for this reason, OpenStack is actually seems like a pretty good answer to, to, our, to our customers. Um, to the people that we talk to, uh, they're pretty excited about this because, similar to the, or, or going back to the, the mission statement that, that Mark just put up on the screen, it's, it's our mission to produce the ubiquitous cloud computing platform for public and private clouds, um, right? And this means that you can actually develop your application to take advantage of, of all of these features. And we can also have multiple private cloud, or multiple public cloud providers uh, providing a place that your application can run on. Um, so that's great. Like, that's, that's the theory. That they're, they're, they're telling me that, and they're like, hey, this is, this is exciting. We're, we're thrilled. We can, we can make you know, applications, and they'll, they'll run for forever, and we'll make all the money in the world. And that's, that's fantastic. They have a few questions. I mean, they wouldn't be bringing me in if they didn't want to ask, uh, ask me about a couple of things. Um, so uh, these fall into a couple of categories. I'm going to talk about them, and then we'll come back to, to, to sort of what I think our answers are here. Um, First of all, is I might have just double hit that. Nope, aha, uh, it, it worked properly. Um, the first question is, is are we really open? Um, is, is, this, is this open part for real, or is this just another sort of form of packaging up uh, an, an elaborate vendor lock-in scheme? Um, there's, there's been plenty of, of open source things that are out there that aren't, that aren't really open. Um, so that's a, that's a concern they've got. Um, they're worried about the maturity. I don't know if any of you noticed that we had our third birthday recently, um, but uh, uh, it, that's, not, that's not the longest amount of time for a piece of, of world-class software to have been in existence. Um, so, so they've got questions about that. They want to they know things about that. Um, they want to know about security, uh, especially given various things that have been in the news recently. Uh, people are concerned about, uh, about what's going to happen to their, to their datas. Um, they're worried about the complexity. Uh, it, there are, as, as I'm basically just going to be referring to all of Mark's slides, apparently, is what I'm going to be doing. Uh, uh, as, as Mark pointed out, we have a lot of pieces to this, to this puzzle. It, it turns out it's kind of complicated to run a cloud. Um, so they're, they're a little bit worried about that. They, they'd like to know some answers there. Uh, and, uh, and, and finally, they're sort of interested in this upgrade story, right? Like, so you go and you install 20 data centers worth of, I mean, gosh, 20 data centers? That's pretty exciting. Um, but you install 20 data centers worth of cloud, uh, and then we make a release, another release in six months. Uh, are they going to turn their cloud off and install a new 20 data centers worth of cloud and then turn it back on? That probably wouldn't be a very good user experience for anybody using those clouds. Um, so th they sort of want to know some, uh, some answers what we're going to do, uh, what we're going to do there. And uh, so, so to sort of address all of these things to uh, to, to think about answers to, to those questions for them, um, it, it comes back to us. It comes back up to us as, as the community. Uh, and so I sort of want to highlight a, a couple of things that I think uh, are important there. Um, but the, 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 key, the key initial message that I'd, I'd like to get across here um, is that this is about what, what we need to do as the community. This isn't, this isn't about what these other people who are the community need to do for me. This is about what, what we collectively uh, as the community need to do together. Um, and that's one of the things that I think that we have as, as again, as Mark uh, so eloquently put uh, in, the, in the last presentation, um, this, is, uh, this, is one of the, this is one of the most impressive things that we've built. We've built a community of over 250 companies and you know, over 1,600 uh, uh, developers that, that contribute and over 12,000 individual members of, of, our, of our foundation. That's, that's kind of an insane number of people to be working on this thing. Um, and the fact that they collaborate all the time, the fact that we collaborate all the time is, is, is nothing short of, of, of a miracle, really, if you consider the names of a lot of the companies that are up on, on the slides when we show them. Um, uh, and the fact that they come together every day 
the fact that we all fly to various different cities every six months to work on this together and sit down in rooms and look each other in the face and make solutions to problems is, is kind of amazing. So I, I think that there's, there's several aspects of this, of, of how we work together, but all of them at the end of the day come back to us working together here in this room and there in that room and, well, in my living room. Although I don't really want to invite you all to my living room because I don't think you'd fit. Um, but, uh, but I'll be there and you can be somewhere else and now I'm babbling. So I'm going to move on to the, to the next slide of what we need to do. Um, first of all, I think we need, to, we need to, as always, we need to face the facts. Um, we need to be very, very honest with ourselves about where we are uh, and, and about where, where, we want to, where we want to go next. We need to be we need to be honest, as I, as I just said, about the fact that the person sitting next to us isn't going to solve our problems for us. It's our job. We have to, we have to solve our problems. We have to come together and, and do that. Um, we, need to, we need to be honest about the things that we need. We need to not try and whitewash anything over into the corner saying, oh, no, it'll be fine. Um, uh, it's, it's, it's really important that, that we, we, we have been honest with ourselves so far, I think, and we need to, we need to maintain that even in the face of the resounding success that we've, that we've got so far. Um, one of those facts that we need to face is that we are currently hybrid. Um, we, as a project, actually, uh, we actually run a rather large uh, hybrid cloud application. Uh, I mentioned earlier uh, that we have a community-run uh, developer infrastructure team. Uh, we've got uh, several members on that team uh, work for me at Hewlett Packard. There's people on that team at the OpenStack Foundation, uh, and there's other, other community members, uh, and we do we do a decent amount of work because it turns out that everybody out there does a, a, an extremely large amount of work in producing patches. So thank you. Thank you for producing all of those patches. Uh, and thank you for giving us the, the, the lovely job of actually testing all of them. Uh, I think uh, Russell Bryant tweeted a couple days ago that he was thrilled that in our community we consider something that isn't tested to be broken. Um, and I think, that's, I think that's right on. Um, the thing that you may not know about that, uh, depending on how much you know about how our development process works, um, is uh, there, there's, there's a couple things. First, if you're going to submit a patch to us, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to get submitted up, and we're going to run all sorts of tests on it. Uh, they're going to they're gonna go everything from code style to we're actually going to spin up a cloud, install your code, make sure that it works, uh, and test it. And then it's going to go through code review. Uh, and then after it's gone through code review and somebody, uh, a couple of different core team members have decided that they like your code, we're going to test it again um, because things might have changed since you submitted it. Uh, so we're going to do, do a lot of testing on that. Um, we do all of that work currently uh, in two public clouds. Um, so we actually have our entire build infrastructure spanning two public OpenStack clouds that are run by different vendors. So if anybody tells you that you can't do interoperability, uh, that you can't do multi-cloud applications, they are absolutely lying to you. We are doing it every day, a lot. Um, you can go and look at, uh, look at Sean Daig's numbers uh, recently. It was something like, what, 20,000 clouds that we installed in a week uh, a couple of weeks ago after the release when everybody was on vacation. Um, so we do this a lot across two different clouds. It got really exciting uh, this last cycle uh, because of the work that the Triple O guys are doing. Now we kind of have to figure out how to test multi-node bare metal cloud deployments. Um, and what we have at our disposal are public clouds. So um, the first step is to figure out how in the heck you test a multi-node bare metal cloud deployment when your only resources are a public cloud that gives you either Zen or KVM instances. Um, and I I think it might eventually be possible to write something that could maybe only use those resources. Um, but it turns out that we have this thing that can deploy multi-node bare metal clouds. So, um, so we got a rack of hardware from HP, and uh, we've got the Triple O team has, has started up a, uh, has, has done an installation of OpenStack. Go figure. Wow, we've got this cloud thing. Why don't we use it? Um, so we now actually, as a project, effectively have a private cloud that we're running because we need some capabilities that don't exist for us in the public clouds that we have at our disposal. Um, so we've got that spun up, and it's actually in, in an experimental fashion in our, in our node pool application. It took exactly zero changes to our development infrastructure to actually add that private cloud. 
even though that private cloud is going to be there to test bare metal deployments for us. Um, and, and so not only are we actually provably doing multi-cloud interoperable applications on a daily basis, we've, we've now actually expanded into the hybrid cloud world. We have workloads that we run on our private and on our public cloud, and we do all of this completely in the community, completely in the open, uh, and it works pretty darn well. Um, so that's number one thing to, for any of the doubters or any of the haters that are out there, we're doing it. It's working. It's actually working really well. Um, so, so yes, you can write your applications to do that, I promise. Um, that said, we, we don't, I don't, wanna, I, don't, I don't want us to sit on our laurels. Um, one of the, 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 the questions that the customers are asking uh, was about, are we really open? Um, and I think, that, uh, I think that one of the elements of openness that we've become really good at is the open collaboration. It's not just enough that the code is open source, but it's, it's that we have a community where you can come in uh, and collaborate on things. And it turns out, actually, if you, if you sort of sit down and think about the engineering of it, um, it's more efficient for you. It's more cost effective for your engineering team to just work with us. Don't go off into the corner. Don't go off and write your own thing because you don't like our thing. Come fix our thing. Come, come, be, part of, be, come be part of the thing that we're doing. Um, and uh, as, a, as, a, as a specific example of this, I, 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 I can't even begin to express how excited I am that I get to tell the next little uh, tidbit of stuff. And it's already been tweeted this morning, so my thunder got stolen a little bit. Um, so hopefully you don't follow that Twitter feed. Actually, hopefully you probably do follow that Twitter feed. Um, I'm going to stop talking. Um, <laughs> so uh, a couple years ago when we started the HP Public Cloud, uh, Horizon was not great. Um, it wasn't really ready uh, to be uh, the dashboard of a, public for a, of a large public cloud. Um, so the engineering team that was there at the time uh, said to themselves, wow, we can't possibly use this. This is terrible. Let's go write our own. Um, I'm not really sure where the engineering math came across in that thinking that it would be less less cost to go write one from scratch than to just fix the one that was already there. But ignoring that for a second, that went. And so we've had a, we've had a proprietary uh, uh, public cloud dashboard for the last little bit um, until somebody realized that that was just a giant waste of money. Um, and so what's been going on over the last cycle is we've had folks working on getting the features that we need into Horizon so that if you were to go right now, if you have a pub HP Public Cloud account and you would like to manage that using Horizon, you can go to horizon.hpcloud.com um, and you can manage uh, all of the servers in our new uh, beta public cloud, um, which I can't even begin to tell you how excited I am about that. But not just because that, that happened, but because of one of the things that it shows about collaboration. Um, it's, it's, it's all well and good to come in and collaborate on the thing that you think is already working and it's great and you're just gonna send up a couple of patches. Sometimes what you need to do is you need, you need, to, you need to think hard about digging in on the thing that maybe isn't quite there yet. Oh, this is, this is sort of a neat concept, but it's not, it's not really ready yet, so I'll just do something else. Well, no, don't do something else. Fix the one we've got. If you don't, ours is probably gonna come by and surpass you anyway because um, there's a lot of us working on this and you're probably not going to hire 1,600 developers to work on your, on your private thing. So just work with this. We're really friendly, um, except when I'm yelling at people. But in general, we're, we're really friendly um, uh, and, and we get stuff done. Um, the, the folks were asking about maturity. I, I, I sort of tipped my hat towards this one uh, a little bit earlier, um, but uh, they're, they're worried that we're, that we're not mature enough, potentially. We're only three years old. Uh, when I was three years old, I didn't do very many things that were useful to anybody. Um, I think maybe my parents liked me, but that's probably about it. Um, in this case, we're, we're doing pretty well. We, we, we test the ever-loving mess out of this thing. Um, like, just so, so much. I, I already mentioned 20,000 20, clouds in a week. Um, but that's, that's, actually, that's actually a lot of testing. Um, as a community, the, the, thing, the thing that I'd, I'd really like to, to see us move forward on there um, is that as much as we do all that testing and as, as much as that system is really great, um, the, there's really only a couple of companies that are contributing full-time developers to working on those systems. So it would be really great if some of you out there who are CEOs or CO, CIOs or whatever could give us some more resources on that because the team's doing fantastic. We kind of keep doubling every six months uh, and we're not doubling the infrastructure engineers. So I could really use some help on that one, please. Um, uh, security is another one that's similar to that. We have 
security pro uh, process. We have security apparatus. We have a vulnerability management team. We have, uh, we have security working groups. We have people doing pen testing on, on OpenStack clouds. And that all is, 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 is working pretty well. Um, except same sort of thing. Um, this isn't, this isn't going to be a problem that we solve once and then we're done with it. Uh, <laughs> it, it turns out these people keep writing new patches. Uh, go figure. Uh, we're going to have to keep dealing, dealing with security as an ongoing issue, uh, which again means we, we might need more people in the room to come help us out. Come join the security <laughs> vulnerability management team. Um, it's, it's really important, right? There's absolutely nobody out there who doesn't want this to be secure, and it's, it's, we're, we're, we're doing a good job with this right now, but, but if, you, if, you track the, if you track the growth of what we're doing over time, um, we've, we've got to have, have more help. We absolutely have to have more help there to, to carry that into the future. Um, and then finally, uh, continuous deployment is, is a thing. Uh, and, and without getting into too much trouble uh, with Thierry, our esteemed release manager, uh, <laughs> I, I think that our six-month releases are, are really important, actually. They give us a, they give us a point to, to pause and reflect, to figure out what we're doing, a goal to, to look at in the future. We get together here or elsewhere. We probably don't get together here every six months since it's the first time we've been here. Um, but we, we get together every, every six months to do planning. And that actually, so far, is, there's nothing broken with that. The planning cycle is, is actually pretty fantastic. Um, but if you're running a large cloud, uh, as I was mentioning with the upgradability question earlier, there's no way that you're just going to stop and upgrade in six months. That's, it's, it's insane to think of, even at a single data center, uh, uh, even at a da single data center scale, much less at 20 data centers or 100 data centers. Um, so so the, 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 scale of, the scale of changes has to, has to be able to go in on a, on a continual basis. Uh, we've got, as, as was mentioned already uh, today, very excited about it. Uh, my guys working on it, uh, the guys at Red Hat working on it with us. Uh, the, the Triple O project, I think, is really important here, uh, especially when we're looking at the fact that we've started running a continuously deployed OpenStack cloud in the community. Like, if you come and start hacking on Triple O, you can become a member of the admin team of that cloud, and you can help run a continuously deployed OpenStack cloud with everybody else, and, and then we'll be feeding that back into the cycle that, that gives us resources for the testing. So it, it's, it's actually a really nice uh, dog fooding cycle. Um, that's, that's not it, though. Like, that's, that's, a, that's a mechanism, and it's great, and I'm really thrilled with the, the work that everybody's doing there. Um, but if you go and you look at the, at the summit sessions uh, this time, because we are here to plan what we're doing in the next cycle, uh, if you look at the summit sessions, you'll see the, uh, the high amount of, of sessions that are pointed at how do we, how do we deal with uh, stability, how do we deal with upgradability uh, as we're looking for this? Because having a mechanism that can do a continuous deployment is meaningless if the code that you're continuously deploying uh, breaks itself when you go from, when you go from, from version to version. Um, so we did, there were, the Nova team did, a, did an amazing job over this last cycle of getting a whole bunch of uh, upgradability patches and work done in. Uh, we've, got, we've got Grenade, which is our, our, our uh, uh, first stab at, at upgrade testing. Uh, we're looking at a whole bunch of different ways to, to look at, at upgrade and downgrade paths between, uh, uh, between patches. Um, and this is a, this is a thing that, um, uh, that I think is, is getting, a, getting a lot of resources. And, and over this cycle, we, we kind of have to, we have to nail this down because we have to admit that this is, this is also a model. We, we may make releases every six months, but we actually, it's not okay for us to break things in the middle of those releases anymore. Uh, we've, we've grown up. We are actually mature enough already uh, that it's, it's just not acceptable. We, we just can't do it. Um, and, and we're working on it. Uh, and we could, we, could use, we could use everybody's help. Um, so, uh, uh, so in general, to, to, to sum up, actually, and, and I'll, I, might, I might give you a couple of minutes uh, of, your, of your lives back, um, uh, to, to sum up, I, I want everybody to do what they can to think about us as a community, not not as the communities being they, not the, the community being those people over there who are going to get this done for us, um, but the community being, being us, the community being everybody who can show up uh, and, and participate, because you, you can all come, on, c come out and, and participate, um, and, and to ask as you're interacting with this, how can you work on the core pieces and not just your vendor plugin, right? Because you can write an amazing vendor plugin for your, for your, your networking uh, stack. But if the core thing doesn't actually work, then your amazing plugin is just sitting in, in a big pile of mud. Um, and, and so it's, 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 it's on all of us to show up uh, and to work on those pieces um, and, to, and to make sure that the, that the entire stack itself 
um, is, uh, is, is, ready, is ready to go. And to also think about the places in the project that might not be as sexy uh, to the product groups in, inside of your company. Things like, things like the QA team, things like the, the infrastructure team, things like the vulnerability management team. We're all, we're all looking for, for more help. We're all looking for collaboration. We're all, we're all eager for people with new ideas uh, to come in. We're, we're, eager for, we're eager, eager for people who aren't me to, to hire people for the infrastructure team. It'd be really great. Um, uh, and and that's, that's, how we make this, uh, that's how we make this thing uh, uh, really, really sing and, and get to the next step. Um, so in any case, thank you very much for, for coming out and listening to me this morning. Uh, I look forward to seeing all of you in the Design Summit sessions and around, uh, around, the, conference, uh, around the conference this week. Thank you very much. Dry, I'll be at your door tonight.